What else do you have to do? You gotta just start investing. Welcome to the Million Dollar Challenge. Hello everyone, my name is Kasim. Welcome to the Million Dollar Challenge. So in today's video, we are gonna go through my main dividend and growth investing portfolio. We're gonna go through what has been happening in almost a year. The last time I did an update for this was about seven months ago. And that was the video that says how to compound your money. So I talk about compounding and uh, passive income for a stock portfolio. Now we are going to do an update to that. So we're going to walk through that today. We're going to talk about what's been going on in the portfolio. What? what changes I'm looking to do this year in 2023. Excited to get involved in this portfolio more and start talking about some of the things that I am doing in regards to making sure this portfolio as well an update on this portfolio that i talked about this was roughly about seven months ago like i said and that time the balance was rough, roughly about ninety-three thousand. so we have gone down quite significantly a lot so if we take a look at s p 500 let's, the last year um and then we'll take a look at it downwards and we'll compare that to my portfolio here because this is the all time for my portfolio and uh, we are down 11 percent over all the drama and all the things that happened last year and i'm looking to start having my portfolio a little bit more concentrated because i have a lot of stocks here on my portfolio and uh, this year what i'm looking to do is consolidate some of the holdings i'm going to be working with, with the portfolio a lot more closely I'm trying to do fundamental analysis on the portfolio in terms of breaking up everything down portfolio trying to make it more concentrated over time to the standard of diversification my portfolio is very very diversified it's over diversified actually but i'd rather do it this way so over time i don't worry about any of this any of my uh, particular holdings here even though some of them are down quite significantly uh, but we are going to be breaking each and every single one of these portfolio down over time all right but let's do an overview of what's going on here so all time the portfolio is down by 11 percent all right we're going to compare this to the s p 500 very soon but all time portfolio is down 11 percent if you take a look at one year we are down 24 percent that equals to about twenty five thousand and the portfolio earned a dividend of about a thousand dollars now if we take a look at the breakdown of how the portfolio has basically been doing we can see we can see here that at a lot of that i took i've been quite they didn't play out too well um especially last year let's look at s p right last year if you look at one year s p is down 13 percent now my portfolio would be a little bit more aggressive because it is focused on growth but like growth stocks don't perform well during the type of economic downturn that we're going through right now growth stocks don't perform that well at all so they've been down a lot you guys can see the portfolio traction here from 93,000 all the way down to 17 one even 70,000 here all the way back to 93 down to you know 70 so it's been flirting a lot from 93,000 to 73 to 93 portfolio has been up and down a lot in the past year the main corporate has been basically tesla tesla has been the one that has been down the most you guys know that it's in my energy and trans transportation category tesla has been down a lot but if you take a look at tesla here specifically in the past year is down for me and this is one of my largest holdings in the portfolio so I'm going to be talking about Tesla specifically because I do my Tesla updates, doing deep dive into Tesla itself, letting you guys know what my point of view is when it comes to Tesla and investing in Tesla. This will come very much later on. If we just take a look at the overall portfolio, Tesla has been the main corporate here um, in terms of 
the percentage drop. Seeing the other ones too that have not been doing well, uh, Catty Woodstocks have not been doing well. Crypto has not been doing well. My mastermind group, which is a team of young investors, we, we collectively picked this stocks together and it hasn't been doing so well neither. But we have a few things that I'm very bullish on. In the past year, the portfolio earned, let's not forget the dividend, right? Portfolio earned about 1500 in pure passive income. This is 100% passive income. So if you look at year to date, year to date, we up 14%. We've earned almost $300 here today and the portfolio is up by 11000 If you look at in the past three months, we're up 15%, up 11000 earned 327 in dividend. And if you look at the past month, we've been down relatively small. But in the past month, there's been a huge drama with the banks. So we'll be digging into that as well. But yeah, this is what we are um, basically looking at right here. Th down 3% in past month, 3000 And we've earned a dividend of $151. Now, you guys see the dividend, right? See the dividend right here coming in consistently. This is why I love this portfolio because we have that cash cushion that is always going to be constantly coming in. Some of the main things that I'm looking to do this year is to concentrate that cash cushion into the dividend section. And then what I have with growth, I will just stick with maybe just Tesla for the whole year and just keep on averaging $30 per day into Tesla stock for the whole year. If we look here, we've got it's down 2000 in the past week, $60 in the past week in dividend. And then if we take a look at today, is down to thousand dollars today and one percent let's see out of everything again we have uh, tesla the most down down the most here almost 1.3 percent so now that we've done a quick rundown of how the portfolio is looking i want to talk about a few companies that i'm very bullish on this year so here are the companies here right here is the five companies here we've got zim Zim is a company that does shipping. They are a freight liner, freight company. You can think of them as the Uber of shipping. This company has a bulletproof balance sheet. This is a company here. They have a bulletproof balance sheet. The two things that I like to look at first when I want to pick a company that I'm investing in is I like to look at the debt, trying to see how much money the company has to pay in their debt, how much debt they have. I try to look at that. For this company, Zim, Zim, they have basically no debt. They are not indebted to anybody. They have no debt. After we take a look at that, let's look at their cash, right? Because this company, they have about just over 3 billion in cash. All right. And then after that, I like to look at their revenue. Let me look at this on an annual basis. I like to look at their revenue. Their revenue constantly is steadily growing, you know, ever since they uh, started. Revenue have been growing steadily. They've grown their revenue to about $12 billion, $12.56 billion. And they have no debt. Their capital is how much they have to pay for all their lease and stuff like that. But if we take a look here, most important thing that I like to look at is the cash here and also the debt. They have a lot of cash, 3.69 billion in 2021. And in 2022 here, they have about 3.2 billion. So it dropped a little bit. And then also they are a big juggernaut when it comes to dividend, they pay wild, they pay dividend. This is a company that works for the investor. They work for the investor. This is the kind of company company I like. Their share dilution has been going up, but I think over time it will remain steady over time. I'm going to be doing a deep dive into this company more often. So you guys stay tuned. If we look at the price here, the price has been relatively steady. I want to be picking it up here about 19 or anything lower. But over time, I'm going to buy a lot more of this company because they just went public in 2021. So over the long term of this company, I think over time, they're going to pay a lot of money in dividend. 
and I want to accumulate at least a thousand shares because they pay a decent amount of money in dividend every quarter. So here they pay about two dollars. Here they pay almost three dollars. Here they pay almost six point four dollars per share. And this is going to come in April 4th. This is going to be very nice to have a company like that. But the other company that I'm bullish on as well is S&P. S&P Global, they are a credit rating company for the stock market. They are a juggernaut of a company. They don't have that much rivals, but they rate companies, they rate countries and they give them credit ratings. So that way they use those credit ratings to go and borrow money and do all these things right so that's what they do very lean company they don't have much debt as well a fast growing company and they don't have that much competition so i really like them tesla you guys know how i feel about tesla i'm a big fan of tesla i'm a big fan of elon musk i like what they do my basic thesis of investing in tesla is that this company is going to be worth trillions of dollars in the future i don't want to miss out on that with all the things that they're doing, this company is basically, it's an ETF on its own and it's a juggernaut of a company. And they are going to be the biggest company in the world. I'll stick with Elon here and I'm going to keep on buying. Then next we have MasterCard, all right? MasterCard are the gatekeepers of credit card processing and with the rise of online company we've we've seen that a lot of these companies like a, a firm or any of these other company they basically cannot compete with mastercard all right mastercard collect tolls on every single transaction mastercard and visa they collect tolls and they are going to be there to collect that toll for a long time technology hasn't been able to pace their business i think their business is going to be here for a long period of time so I'm a big fan of this company and I'm going to keep on buying more. Now, the other company that I have here is Vici. Vici is a real estate company. They're rates. And what they do is they take money from investors. They use that money to have locations, casinos in uh, Las Vegas and all these other places. And they collect the rent and then they distribute that rent to the investor. Here's another company that works for in, that works for investors. Okay, they have they are investor focused companies, right? And all these five companies here are my top five companies for 2023. You're gonna really be appreciative of this channel because this is not a channel that is just showing you how I'm making money. This is a channel that is showing you and talking about it. I'm talking about some of the issues that I think is very important to talk about to resolve those issues in order for me to get to that million dollar asset. That's stage one. Stage two is also to get to that point where I'm where I'm making a million dollars a year. Because I think everybody needs to strive for a point where at some point in their life they're making a million dollars a year. But what gets you there? This is what gets you there. Having assets. Having assets that you can use to use it and make money. This is what gets you to that million dollars. And this is my process. I've been sharing this portfolio here ever since it was about a couple of hundred dollars. I've been doing that. So please stay tuned with the channel. So before we go, I just want to just touch up on a few things because ultimately i compare my portfolio to this right here this is the benchmark if you buy one of this company which is is called sp s p 500 the ticker symbol is called spy spy this one company has the top 500 and here's the, another company that does the same thing here it's packaged up into one and the s p 500 represents the top 500 company i mean in the united states now if you look at one year here this is down 13 percent if i compare that to the one year of my portfolio i'm down a lot more and we already know why because of tesla but tesla i'm not really my conviction level on tesla is very high so i don't ever stress tesla being down if i look at year to date compare that to my portfolio year to date here 
um, my portfolio is up 12% and the S&P 500 is up 3%. So yeah, today we're looking good on my side of the portfolio. Now let's look at six months. Let me see if I can pull six months of mine. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do six months. I can only do three months. Let's see if they give us, or this don't give us three months. But anyways, if we look here, we're still relatively up. This is up 6% roughly. And we're up 15%. If you look at the month, let me look at the month for S&P. The S&P went down half a, half a percent. We're down 3% here. And I don't think we have one week here. We have five days. Okay, we have one week. So this is down uh, one, one and a quarter percent. And in one week, we're down 2.5%. So the portfolio is tracking well anyways compared to the general market the portfolio is tracking well i think over time over time this portfolio is going to outperform the market and what i'm trying to do for this year especially the first thing is i'm going to be buying more of these companies those are the main companies that i'm going to be buying more more of this year and then I'm also going to be buying more of my monthly income section, which is right here. I want to build build into that a lot. So this monthly income part is where I'm going to be adding a lot more money as well this year. And stay tuned. I'm going to be breaking this down as well. I'm going to be comparing all these companies seeing which one is better to put money in which one is cheaper to be putting money in at, at, at x amount of times but those companies that are here are geared towards getting paid on a monthly basis and uh, every month i get paid on this on this right so this month is 40 bucks closely in the past three months it's been a hundred and in the past year let's see the past year is being 400 that i've put into making 400 dollars out of 10,000. over time i'm going to add in more money i want this monthly income to be the core of the portfolio so maybe have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars here in this monthly income section over time that's going to be the core of the portfolio but yeah and then after that i want to have the two main thing is we're going to have this going on. I'm going to be putting more money in here. I'm also going to be putting more money into my monthly income section here. Have I want this to be thousands and thousands of dollars. And then just in general, after that, in general, after that is I'm going to be looking to be more concentrated. A lot of the companies that are not doing so well, I'll probably just either cut them out completely either cut them out completely or just leave them there and just see how they do but i'm looking to concentrate my portfolio a lot more this year so that is pretty much it for today's video if you like this content here please subscribe to the channel if you like what i do here subscribe to the channel this channel is going places like i've said to you guys my other channel is going places please subscribe to my other channel as well the beats that you're listening to in the background of this video based from my other channel my beats channel so subscribe to that as well please, please support me on both channel here i appreciate you until next time see you later love you all bye